Hey guitar friends, welcome to All About Guitar Academy. Today we're going to look at one of my favorite Beatles tunes called If I Fell. So get your guitar in tune, standard tuning, and let's get ready to learn the song. Come right up. Hey guitar friends, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a Beatles song, If I Fell. I'm going to be using some little more advanced chords, so I would call this more of an intermediate guitar lesson. But if you're just starting out, I encourage you to try this song. Uh, it'll really help you stretch your chord making skills. So let's start with the intro to If I Fell. So to start the intro, we're going to come all the way up here to fret number six. And we're going to create a D sharp minor chord. And the way we're going to do that, we're going to take our index finger, we're gonna lay it across all five of the six strings here, string one, two, three, four, and five. And then we're gonna make an A minor shape. So in other words, if you're down here and you're making an A minor, you're just gonna slide it up here to fret number seven. We're gonna bar fret number six. And the way the chord sounds is like this. And I'm putting the chord charts up here for you to help you out. Okay, then we're going to come down here from this D sharp minor up here on fret number six. We're going to slide down to fret number five. We're going to keep that bar there with our first finger. We're going to take finger number three and we're going to lay it across strings two, three, and four. And we're going to leave it up just a little bit so that it's not covering the first string. We want that first string to ring this note right here on fret number five. Okay, so we've got D sharp minor, then D. Now we're gonna go down one more half of a step to a C sharp. We're barring that. Okay, now we're gonna slide up here onto string number six with our index finger, and we're gonna bar this fret right here, which is fret number six, all the way across. And we're gonna put finger number three right down here on fret number eight, string number five. And we're gonna play all six strings. It makes a pretty sounding chord and that chord is A sharp minor seventh. So I'll start from the beginning again, up here on fret number six, D sharp minor. D, down to C sharp, and now this A sharp minor seventh. Okay, so we're gonna do the song like this. Four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then we repeat that again. Now, on the second time through, we're going to go down here to an E minor 7th. And then we're going to do an A suspended 7th. Okay. Or you can just do an A major. That's going to work as well. So I'll start the intro again. One, two, three, four. suspended seven. All right, let's jump into the verse of the song, the first verse. And I would sing along with this to give you a better idea how the song's going, but I'm a little concerned about copyright laws and all that kind of stuff. So I encourage you to get the song. It, it We're playing it in the same key and with the same chords as the uh, original version. So you can actually play your guitar along with this song uh, the way I'm showing you. So let's jump into the verse, okay? The verse we're going to start with D major, then we're going to go to an E minor. We could do an E minor 7th, it sounds a little bit better to have E minor 7th, but to keep it simpler, let's go to E minor. Then we're going to do an F sharp minor 7th, all right? It sounds kind of weird, but I'll put the chord up here. But basically we're hitting this F sharp note, and that's where we're going to bar 
our chord and then we're going to put our finger number three down here on fret number four of string five and play all six strings very pretty chord then we're going to go down a half of a step so an f minor seventh and then to the e minor again so let's start with the verse again we've got d major e minor f sharp minor seventh e minor a major we repeat that again for verse two Now we're going to go to D7. Two. Okay, so stop. When we get to the D7, now we're in bridge number one. Where you saying, because I couldn't stand the pain and I... Okay, so we're at D7, beginning of the bridge. One, two. G major. Now we're going to go to a G minor seventh. And I'm playing it like this. I'll put it up here on the wall for you. Just an easy way. You can also put your thumb down here on the G note and then create your G minor seventh. But I'm trying to keep it a little simple. We're gonna do G minor seventh like this. And then we go back to the D major. Was in A. Okay, so that's the bridge. I'll do the bridge for you again, starting with the D7. Three, four, G major. G minor seventh. Two, one, two, three, and D. Was in A. All right, now we go into verse three and four. D7 Cause I couldn't stand the G major G minor 7 D major Back to A Alright, that is bridge number 2 Then we go into the final verse of the song which is basically a repeat of what we did in verse one. D major, E minor, F sharp, minor seventh. A major, and D major, E minor. Very last sentence of the song, if I fell in love with you, goes to G minor seventh, to D, and it repeats. With D. All right, I know it doesn't sound as pretty as the Beatles, but that's the chords that you use for the song. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope it challenges you a little bit. Hope you'll try some of the other chords like the E minor seventh. And the A sus 7, which just adds a little bit more emotion to the song. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for more here at All About Guitar Academy. We've got lots more songs coming your way, lots more guitar lessons. And don't forget, you can get your free ebook that'll help you get off to a fast track on guitar. In fact, it's called Fast Track Guitar. Get it right down here, allaboutguitaracademy.com. I hope to see you there. Stay tuned for more.